Last one, Dale Harrison writes, Hi guys, big fan from England. My question is, who do you think will be the best comic book movie hero and villain performances from 2016 if you had to choose now? My picks are Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool, although he's more of an anti-hero, and the Batfleck, I couldn't decide. <laughs> With my villain being Jared Leto's Joker, who I believe is going to smash it. High hopes for Oscar Isaac's Apocalypse 2. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I th as far as the heroes go, it's hard to go against your two picks. Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool, I think. So I, there's that. And I have always thought from day one, Schnepp, since that first day they announced that we did that video, I believe Ben Affleck is going to crush it as Batman as well. So those are my two picks. As far as the villains go, I think there's a very intriguing villains. And I got to tell you too, I think while I am dying to see Jared Leto's Joker, I am. I think there is a chance he might get upstaged by Chiwetel Ejiofor and Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, so I mean, him playing uh, Mordo in that is that is so bloody intriguing. So to me, that's the villain I kind of obviously Jared Leto as well. But the one that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, one of the best actors breathing today is Chiwetel Ejiofor, and him being in Doctor Strange, I got my eye on that. They might, they might even use him as a villain in this movie. Eventually, you know he's going to be. Right. He might be in this movie, so it's hard to say for sure, but that's what I'm watching. What about you? Who's who's the heroes? To, who's yeah. going to give the best hero performances and the best villain performances? Well, I'm definitely with you. With uh, I'm looking forward, especially after seeing Ben do those roles, as Bruce, the lines as Bruce Wayne. I, I like his interpretation of Batman and Bruce Wayne, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm specifically, I'm glad you brought up Doctor Strange. I'm looking forward to Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, as one of my favorite comic book characters. I've been waiting for them to do Doctor Strange and do it right, and it feels like they're killing it with the cast. It's an insane cast, you would tell Edgy for Mads Mikkelsen, Tilda Swinton. I mean, it's like, are you kidding me? This is a superhero film? These are amazing actors and actresses. So I'm looking forward to Benedict Cumberbatch, I'm definitely looking forward to, to the Joker, but I feel like, I mean, I know a lot of people had issues with the Apocalypse trailer. I liked the, the X-Men Apocalypse trailer, and I specifically, just from the line readings that I've heard, Oscar Isaac's performance feels like it has that gravitas that that character Apocalypse needs. Will it outshine the Joker? I don't know. So I'm still riding with the Joker as the best villain, but Apocalypse second. Yeah, as far as villains go, it's got to be Bebop and Rocksteady from the new Ninja Turtles <laughs> movie. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely throw the Joker in there too. And, uh, you know, Suicide Squad coming out, it, it, there, there's a lot of bad guys in that movie. Now, will they end up doing some heroic things? I don't know, but if I can still count them as villains, I'd say all of them. And as far as heroes go, wild card here is Gambit. That's another pick. Yeah, but that's I, not a bad one, too. I, I, Channing Tatum could really do something special with that. Cumberbatch, obviously. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. And Ben Affleck as Batman is the one that, if everybody wasn't already saying it, that'd be the one. Because as soon as he was cast, I was like, that's, that's a really cool choice for Bruce Wayne. Because mm -hmm. we get to see older, different, out-of-retirement Batman. Cannot wait to see that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.